I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Can out. I've Bad never fire. lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I assume you're trained for first contact diplomacy. I'm a social anthropologist with a linguistics background. Close enough for Director Tan. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. If something's wrong, I need to know. Maybe you can help me fix it. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. Aside from Storvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. 
He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. You're one of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You'll have ways to send them text messages and comm transmissions. I want contact with the people I love. You offer machines. Uh, not good enough, Pathfinder. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? He's off. I'm here to help. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. 
I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. Ridiculous. Do you know what he meant by that? He ranted nonsense about a vessel and selling slots to outsiders. He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. Sounds like there's more to this. Don't suppose you caught his name? Didn't ask, didn't want it, didn't need it. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters. See if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. Pathfinder. I'll leave you to it. Pathfinder. Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It will be fascinating, and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? They wouldn't let me on Aya if I was a walking Petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry. Honor to meet you, Pathfinder. Initiative pilot Marixis. I run supplies to your outposts. What brings you to Aya? Your survival supplies only Aya has. I'm waiting on clearance to enter the city, but it's taking too long. I understand their caution, but the outposts need these supplies. I have to get them, now. They let me into the city? I can help. I appreciate that. To start, Eos needs a way to produce food to support population growth. They requested Kiloa seeds to begin their own crops. There's an agricultural scientist who might sell some. I'll make sure to get those seeds. Settlers on Kadara are suffering from a bacterial infection. They need Angaran antibiotics to fight it. A medic in the city should be able to help. Got it. They'll have that medicine in no time. Eladin's water purifier can't keep up with demand. They're requesting one of those Angaran ionic filters. There are engineers who work in the aqueducts here. I'll bet they have what we need. On it. One filter coming up.
protection, but we want to do so. Just read the Jarl's latest report. You killed the Rokar's leader. Eliminating Arxor was the right call. Question is, why'd you do it? I was protecting a valued member of my... our crew. Plenty of ways to save Jarl. You chose the lethal one. Interesting. What do you need? There's no official Angaran military, just the Resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Cat mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the Resistance real. I'll let you get back to it. Good. Moved in Vay on to replace them. No, six and nine is still unstable. They'll be out of food in two days. Out of ammo in three. They have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kids, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kid outpost, but I don't know. If they could do it alone, they would have by now. Send reinforcements. Hitting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. Sam, what's this? A decontamination console for visitors to the med center. Touch the start pad to use it. No entering the med center until you're clean. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad, it does the rest. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. My people on Kadara are fighting a bacterial infection. Do you have antibiotics? Of course. Will this do?
I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angaran injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar. Kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. I'll get moving. Ishari. I detect the infrared dye saw this Len use to mock the person who threatened him. That's... I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me. Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal, time of change. It worked well, until now. The Vassal never accounted for outsiders living on Aya. There's only so much room. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out, I was angry. Said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. He thinks you want him dead. Tell him what you just told me, and let's move on. Thought I was clear the first time. Maybe his translator malfunctioned. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your Vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand, nothing is free for us. Pathfinder, Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. Anything I buy will be used to fight Cat. You fight our enemy, but you're not one of us. Remember that.
It took humanity eight years to get a Citadel Embassy back home. Pretty impressive to get one here so fast. All it took was handling some remnant. It'll take more to keep this partnership going. Ambassador Riala will handle the Embassy. Let's us focus on everything else. Do you work on water filtration here? I designed the system for it. Can you sell me an ionic filter? My people need it on Elodin. If they're tough enough for Elodin, they deserve help. Here. Weird question. You don't have any Kiloa seeds, do you? I... yes, I do. Need some? At my age, family is more important than new experiences. I don't regret staying close to home. Welcome back. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal? The Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angar are selling their slots to come here, so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. If we reward the Angara for their sacrifice, maybe they won't resent our being here. And we can ensure their survivors receive compensation in situations like this. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Ten immediately. How many of our people have they lit into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. 
We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. I found Kiloa seeds for Eos. Is this enough? It's perfect. I'll make sure Eos gets them. More of your outposts need help, if you have time. Vol's power grid is lagging without proper solar input. The solar amplifier will give him a boost. The solar technicians here may have the required parts. I'll see what I can find. Ambassador Riala said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. Pathfinder. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer, but I won't be happy as just an observer. I want, need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? That's the whole point of this exchange. The Nexus needs people like you. That's all I needed to hear. I'll have your ambassador start the transfer. Thank you. You work on the solar panels? Do you have an amplifier for solar energy? Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it? Here, I have the antibiotics for Kadara. Will the settlers be okay? Once they have these, they'll be fine. I'll make sure they know who to thank. Here, I found the solar amplifier for Vold. They'll be happy to see this. No more power outages. Thank you, Pathfinder. I managed to find an ionic filter for Elodin. Make sure they get it. I'll get this delivered right away. They'll be relieved to have enough water.
Rider. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh. Fine. Fine. Don't worry about it.
The Angara are survivors, and they're willing to help. They'll be great allies. Lucinia advises stasis revival protocols are proceeding. Apex would have those mods. I could borrow one. You're a Pathfinder. You can requisition him. How are things going with Ark Lucinia? The Asari's. Good work locating the Asari Ark Rider. I gather there were problems with Sarissa. We handled it. Perhaps it's best I don't know. All that matters is that the Lucinia has returned safe and sound. Did you have some other business? I thought I'd check in on the Arcs. Keep investigating, Ryder. We still need closure on the Salarian Arc. Until all the species are accounted for, we're a broken family. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, Colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future.
has been reported in hydroponics. Security is investigating. has been established on Aya, marking a major diplomatic success for the initiative. Nexus representatives are now working directly with the Angarans to learn more about both the Cluster and the Ket. This is HNS. The offer to put me on the transfer list. Showdown on Katara. All systems green. Rider, we're getting a lot of Ketcom chatter. Keep us stealth, Callow. No sense picking a fight just yet. The ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. 
If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kalo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Kalo? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. I hear you found a stasis locker from the Solarian Ark. Technically, someone else found it first. But yes. How wonderful! I know it's not the Ark itself, but any sign is better than nothing, surely. Please, if I can help the search at all, just ask. Or ask anyway. You're good company. I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. It sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no, I'm not falling for that again. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Kalo? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Just talk to Kesh. Looks like some of the clan are back at the Nexus. Hired on as mercs instead of part of the initiative, but still. Good call you made. Letting her keep the drive core. New dawn for the Krogan, huh? Never thought I'd see the day. Sovereign Krogan as equal allies. My mother would have approved. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. We can talk more later. Sure.
picking up something. Probes launched. Anomaly found. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Picking up something. Probes launched. Satellite detected. It's true, then? We found the Solarian Ark? Sam, tactical. It looks like the Archon captured it. The ships are tethered. What's the plan? I'm working on it. Sam, connect me to the Moshai. On screen. Ryder, it's good to see you again. We've located the Archon's ship. It's more complicated than we thought, so I wanted to make sure we knew what we were looking for. It was a large remnant relic depicting Meridian. It's in his private chamber. His sanctum, he called it. He's very proud of that relic. Right up until we steal it. The Archon isn't to be trifled with. He has no regard for the sanctity of life, not as we know it. Be confident, Ryder, but be cautious. I understand. Thank you for your help, Moshai. Of course. I wish you well. Okay, we play this right, not only do we get away with the relic, we save the Solarians. I say we get onto the Ark, assess the situation, then sneak onto the catch ship through the tether. A feasible approach. Currently, Ark Pachero is on standby. Only its stasis facilities are online. What about the Solarians? Unknown. You heard the Moshai. Who knows what the Archon's capable of? Then we keep our eyes open. We underestimate the Archon, we're dead. Ryder? Whatever you need. Those are my people. We'll get them back. Now let's make this one count. Tempest, we're in. So far, no unusual activity from the Ketch ship. Let's hope it stays that way. Pathfinder. If you access a terminal, I can assess the situation. Accessing Arc Pachero's internal systems. A moment. Additional data encryption has been added. That's not regulation. Did the Solarians do that? It appears so. It's a cryptography key associated with their intelligence services. I have unlocked it. At present, Arc Parchero has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Location of Nexus is unknown. This is Captain Hager of Arc Parchero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Seven Reka. Situation urgent. Well, that was clear enough. Let's find him. Overriding bulkhead door. 
The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including arcs, pathfinders, outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. This is Captain Hager of Arc Pachero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our pathfinder, Seven Reka. Situation urgent. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. This is Captain Hager of Arc Pachero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Seven Reka. Situation urgent. How does the ship look, Sam? Some cat infrastructure has been added, but the ARC systems are operational. So it's flight ready? Yes. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? The easiest way to save everyone is to take the whole ARC with us. Easy isn't the word I'd use. If the right Solarians are still on board, this might work. Not seeing any signs of a fight. Did the Solarians just surrender? Let's hope their Pathfinder can make sense of it. It appears the cat have been offloading pods and equipment from the Ark. No good will come of that. <laughs> this colonist is deceased. The medical terminal may provide more information. say about the Solarian, Sam? He is identified as Pathfinder 7 Raker. What's the cause of death? A brain embolism while in stasis. However, initiative records indicate Pathfinder Raker is female. This patient is male. What? Then who is this really? I have his DNA signature from your scan. Locate a sequencer to confirm his identity. The DNA of the deceased Solarian matches colonist Jax Arlen. So they switched them, trying to hide their Pathfinder. Let's check this colonist's stasis pod, see if anyone's there. I've marked the pod row. It's just like the Solarians to pull a sneaky trick like that. Major seems pretty worried. This isn't Jax Arlen's pod. This isn't the pod we're looking for. This is the deceased Solarian's pod. Yet I detect a female Solarian inside. I think we found their Pathfinder. Let's get her out. You need to access stasis controls to revive her. Hey there, take it slow. No need. I'm fine. 
Solarian stasis recovery is almost immediate. Who are you? Scott Ryder. Pathfinder for the Human Ark. Where's Alec? He... didn't make it. Oh. Oh. This is madness. Stasis was a mistake. I should never have agreed to it. Tell me what you're doing. Seeing what I've woken up to. A hostile species. An armada set upon us. Our captain saw no choice but surrender. Said we'd live to fight another day. He convinced me to hide in the general population and to dismantle my SAM so we wouldn't fall into enemy hands. But we're still in their grasp, I see. That's about to change. We're heading into the cat vessel to gather intelligence. Wake up a flight crew and ready the Ark for escape. On my signal. That'll be no trouble. And then I'll work on freeing the Ark, so you can focus on your objective. We'll get the Ark out somehow. Just wake up your team and stay put. <sighs> One thing at a time. Of course. I'm keying you into our comms. We'll stay in touch. Hello, Pathfinder Raker. Ah. A Sam in my head again. I'm back in the game. We'll be ready, Ryder. Tempest, we're in the tether. Going across to the cat ship now. So far, there are no indications they're aware of your presence. Good luck, Pathfinder. Okay, we keep his... Quick and quiet, and they'll never notice.
Uh, I think they noticed. We walked right into that one. Don't let them... More of them coming in upstairs! Nice of them to throw us a welcome party! We're clear! So much for sneaking in. What do we do now? If you locate a terminal, I may be able to analyze their systems. Accessing the ship's systems now. I have located the Archon's private chamber. Is the Archon in his quarters? That information is not accessible. Only the room's location. What's their security situation look like? An alert was issued, but I have countermanded it. The delay is only temporary. Right. We need to hurry. The Moshe said the relic would be in his chamber. Let's get there. Ryder. I thought you were on the Ark. Too many of our people are missing. If we don't find them now, we never will. This is Hadrian, captain of our Ark. We'll focus on the rescue while you push ahead. A secondary route is available, marking nav points. We'll help you get on your way. Let's right. move. If you but access the terminal, teacher. I can I override the door. Fight. And all I've ever done is... We'll try this way to look for our people. I'm sorry we can't help you, but we have our own mission. Good luck, Pathfinder. You too, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam. The relic. Still got a lead on it? Marking the route to the Archon's chamber, you may proceed. Easier said than done. Only three of us and a ship full of cat. It's on them to try to stop us. not be here when they put it to use. I said it was. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Rika. I assume those alarms are because of you? Yeah, I had a little altercation. And you? Undetected so far. Still looking for our people. Rika out. Also empty. 
Also a senior member of Aunt Pachero's leadership. Leadership, huh? It seems the Ket targeted them. Perhaps to see. What happened to the rest of the Solarians? This is just a couple pots. Defensive armaments of a highly capable warship. All pointed at the Solarian Ark. That's going to be a problem. Your route continues on the far side of the room. Oh, oh, shit, the door just locked. That can't be an accident. Look sharp. I see him! It's an ambush! Those tricky bastards, get ready! Selden's wounds were fatal. I'm sorry. He was brave. I can't access this terminal. It's not working. Ryder, can Sam open this door for us? A moment while I override security. Rekha, we've got a big problem. Did you see those guns back there? I know. They'll destroy the Ark before we can power up the engines. Unless... If you've got an idea, let's hear it. Venril here used to repair FDL drives on private cruisers. Venril, an EMP device? It might work. If we rig run to detonate near those guns, they'd lose power. And the Ark would be out of harm's way. What about your missing people? I'll keep looking. Captain Hadrian and Venril will focus on the EMP. A lot of things have to go right for this to work. That's when Solarians are at our best. The door is now open. Go stay in touch over the radio. In the meantime, we've got a relic to find. Sam? Marking the route to the Archon's chambers. Why are we still keeping our voices low? We're sneaking onto an enemy ship. Who already know we're here. <laughs> it's just what you do in these situations.
Damn. They're doing it again. Sam? There is an alternate route. Overriding the door now. No. The Ket are hardening their security. Try scanning the access panel. The door is voice activated. I can attempt to modulate your vocal cords to approximate Ket information. Okay. The system is asking for your authorization. How do you wish to respond? Denied. Intruders have been spotted on the ship. We need to secure this area. <laughs> Access granted. Wonders never cease. Well, we're off the beaten path now. Some sort of lab. Hate to think what they do around here. What is this? They're dead. Someone's going to pay for this. Take it out on them. Shield assist. You bastards! We're not lab animals. That felt good. Sam, how's it looking? The Archon's chamber will require a new path through the unlocked door. Rider, caution. Some kind of... Uh, immobilizing field. It's useless to struggle. I've been in this forsaken cluster for decades, surrounded by amoeba. Then you arrive, a human able to do the unthinkable. You even evaded me. Such an unlikely rival was almost invigorating to have one, and yet it's a fitting end.
Is that what sad looks like? I'd give you a hug, but... Hey, back off, asshole. The first song. The testing begins now. I will learn your secrets soon enough. Report. Await my arrival. Save your strength, human. Reka must have run into trouble. We have her beat. Sam, what can you tell me? I'm sensing a biological transmitter in your bloodstream now. Attempting to neutralize it. Okay, that's priority two for sure. Any idea how to break out of this? The containment fields only interact with living matter. If you expire, the field around you will extinguish until manually reset. As you know, my access to your physiology allows me to enhance your vital signals when required. I can also do the opposite. So if you shut down my life signs, if you kill me, the field will disappear? The one holding you, yes. Then I would attempt to resuscitate. Are there any other options? None that I can determine. All right. Let's do it. Not again. Uh, listen. Just in case, it's been great. Stopping your heart. Now. Sam? Stimulating the cardiovascular core. Zero activity. Stimulating the cardiovascular core. That seems to have done the trick. Of course it did. Glad one of us was sure. You two look comfortable. So did you, while you were playing dead. Let's find a way out of this cage, huh? There is a maintenance corridor connecting to this room. Okay. Must be a way to access it. I'll look for it. Could be useful intel here. We should check this area out while we can. Step away from there! Among my people, I know as no Here you are nothing. Uh, 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 Archon, do you hear me? Now you have two Pathfinders to deal with, and we're not impressed with your security. Curious. Where are you from? I can't Rick, tell commander. you what's going on. No. A little diversion. You Captain lie. Major and Venro need time to Where stop the EMP. I'll be in touch. That is one kick ass Salarian.
Well, that did something. Let's look around. The ones they call these Turians possess a useful exoskeleton. I think we're alone. Is that a Krogan? It was. Probably one of Drax's missing scouts. The DNA is Krogan, but drastically altered. It's clear the cats are closing in on successfully exalting the species. <sighs> They're driven and efficient, that's for sure. Rider. We've reached the Archon Sanctum. Give the word and we'll set off the Remnant origin. Why does he care so much about the Remnant? It's an obsession. The Archon has done extensive testing to this artifact, damaging it in the process. It is no longer useful. The Archon's going to be pissed if we pull this off. He needs to be stopped. This object serves no useful purpose. It is the Remnant equivalent of junk. The Archon is whistling in the dark on this stuff. There's the Solarian Ark. This is going to be one hell of a getaway. This is the relic the Moshi described. It does seem to be a map. I'll overlay the chart we uncovered in the vault on Eos. Secured, Pathfinder. So that's what you're after. There's more to Meridian than you know. Changing the weather is a fraction of its power. 
and I will not allow you to defile it. You didn't allow me to escape your little trap, either, did you? I wasn't you. It was the artificial intelligence in your head. I've seen what transpired in the laboratory, and now I know what makes you... special. Viridian is mine. I've tolerated you long enough. Once your vessels are destroyed, you'll be stranded here. Captain, fire the EMP! Done! That can't be good. signs on board the ship. Several captives are being held not far from your location. They are scheduled for exaltation. Could be the rest of Drax's missing scouts. Sam, do we have time to get there before the Ket restore power? If you act quickly. Ryder, it's Reka. I'm pinned down. Don't think I'm gonna make it. Where are you? Near holding cells where they're keeping several of my people. They're still alive. I ordered Captain Hager back to the Ark. You should be with him. I couldn't leave my people. I had to try. And now, I think it's over. From one Pathfinder to another, farewell. Reka out. Damn it! There isn't time to save both. Once the cat restore power, you'll be trapped. <sighs> but track scouts! We just saw what the Archon will do to them. They'll be turned into monsters. Reload. We've got to save those Krogan from exaltation. Who are you? Pathfinder Rider, we're here to rescue the prisoners. Who are you? Burtek, a scout for Nekmor Drak. I got loose when the power went out, but I can't do this alone. My people are being held at the end of the corridor, with a lot of Ked in the way. Then we push ahead and don't stop for anything. Let's go. Here we go. Ket up ahead. About to be dead, Ket. We have to punch through! Long way between here and there! Or you're welcome to hang back and die! Tempest, this is Ryder. Do you copy? I hear you, Pathfinder. We have the map. We're trying to rescue some prisoners. But those Ket guns won't stay offline forever. I know, I know. Just tell us if anything changes. You'll be the first to know. Callow out. <laughs>
Who are you? Pathfinder Rider, we're here to rescue the prisoners. Who are you? Vertek, a scout from Nekmor Drak. I got loose when the power went out, but I can't do this alone. My people are being held at the end of the corridor, with a lot of Ked in the way. Then we push ahead and don't stop for anything. Let's go. Here we go. Ket up ahead. Both to be dead, Ket. won't stay offline forever. I know, I know. Just tell us if anything changes. You'll be the first to know. Callow out. Can you run? Pathfinder, the cats are close to restoring the ship's power. Tempest, we're going topside. Track for extraction. Understood. Reka. Reka, are you still there? I'm sorry. The team is on its way. They'll escort the Ark to the Nexus. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you, Captain Hager. It's a day I wasn't certain would ever come. Now that it has, what will you do? Technically, I'm next in line to be our Pathfinder, though I never started the training. Reiko will be difficult to replace. 
I won't lie. When my father died, stepping up was overwhelming. There's a lot to learn. Though it seems your crew helped? Absolutely. Just get yourself a half-ton Krogan and all your problems are solved. What matters most is that the Salarian people are no longer at the mercy of the Ket. For this, we are eternally grateful. Just make sure my scouts make it safely to Nexus. Of course. Be well, Ryder. I heard all about the mission. Must have been a tough call leaving Reka behind. But I'm glad you did. My scouts are alive because of it. Yeah, but the Salarians we left behind. Focus on what went right. You kicked the Archon's tail today. You took the Ark right out from under him and got Meridian's location. So, enjoy this one. Your father would have been proud. It's been tough, trying to fill his shoes. I hope I'm finally starting to earn it. Though slapping the Archon in the face like this will only make him more dangerous. Or perhaps reckless. Your father liked putting others off balance. He said the worthy would rise above it and learn to face adversity ably. And the unworthy? Would crumble. I'll leave you to your thoughts. With reference, Archon, this fascination with Meridian cannot continue. It's the key to our future, Primus. The human knows nothing of its true power. Even we don't fully understand it. Our orders are to exalt this cluster, not study the remnant. Questions are being asked about your judgment. Questions that come from the highest levels. The answers will be clear soon enough. With Meridian, we can transform every world in this cluster to a wasteland. Either the subjects submit to exaltation, or we will use it to annihilate them. This Pathfinder has opened the door. Now we must be the first to cross the threshold. We must seize Meridian before it does. Like all lesser creatures, it mistakes a battle for the war. It doesn't know its weakness. Or its potential. The Archon saw my memory flashes? He got that from my implant? His device went deep. Our connections were wide open when Sam... killed you. We hit him once. We focus on doing it again. We have to rally the Nexus and move on Meridian. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. I can try talking to him for you.
I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Care for some tea, Ryder? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Tea. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. You're not the only one, Subi. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads, but it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. You're a pioneer in a new galaxy. Your family understood that, and they were proud of you. Your work as a scientist will help thousands of people. That's real. It was a dream for all of us. They always encouraged me. I will do all I can to make sure my work honors them. Thank you, Ryder. Move your arm again. Readings won't change, Doc. Your prosthetics are sinking properly. Your neuropathy-induced pain levels are... consistent. Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart, you hear me? You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. <clears throat> nah, it's fine. I don't mind. What's all this about? Follow-up scans. I keep a close eye on him. What do you mean? He's fine, just old and missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. You love me just the way I am, Doc. Hmm. Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Can I ask what happened? Arm, side, hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's all prosthetics and implants. That's... a lot. Made it through the Krogan rebellions, watched my culture disintegrate, survived centuries as a merc, and all sorts of pirate shenanigans. A thousand years of combat experience, all it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. But you're here, still standing. You survived. Yeah, but surviving ain't always living. I hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Everything hurt. A lot. All the time. No purpose to anything. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into that pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up, drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. He 
He wasn't just talking about the baby. Yeah, I was useless too, but... Wasn't just about me anymore, so I got help. Learned how to take care of myself, take care of her, and she took care of me. You found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash... Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. Raising Cash taught me an important lesson. What was it? Took me a while to figure it out, but it's important. Parents aren't meant to be a goal or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. Remember that. Got a minute? I could use a favor. Sure, what do you need? I kept thinking about Sarissa and my not being a Pathfinder. And the thinking turned into a project on EOS. Can you help me finish it? What kind of project? I'll put the nav points in the helm. Come along and I'll show you. The Moshai said you remember when the Ket arrived. My father's oldest friend was chosen to be Volt's ambassador to the Ket. The day he left, they embraced as brothers. 
All the cat sent back was his badge. And a hollow recording I wasn't allowed to watch. I was too young to understand why everyone was scared. Why my father mourned for months. Why kill an ambassador and risk retaliation? They told us it was retaliation for Havaral's attack on their envoy. Havaral received the same story. But in that one, we were the aggressors. We were so busy blaming each other. We were divided when the Ket launched their assault. They'll try the same with you. Be ready. I said you'd want to hear my experience with the cat, to learn from it. I do. Tell me about it. They had just arrived. I was on a civilian shuttle to vote when we received a message. The spaceport was on lockdown. Security concerns due to the cat, we were supposed to land on a nearby moon and wait for the all clear. Instead of landing, the shuttle captain turned back. Something felt wrong, he said. Later we learned it was a cat transmission to isolate us for capture. The captain had saved our lives. The enemy uses confusion to take advantage of the vulnerable. Many shuttles obeyed that false order. Those people were never seen again. The Moshai said we should speak. You remember the cat's arrival. One of them came to our city on a vow to offer lavish gifts. <laughs> we lined up along the street to watch the alien walk with our ambassador. As it passed, it stopped and knelt in front of me. I still dream of what it said. Young one, you are meant for greatness. The cat lured your people into a false friendship. It worked. A month later, our council disappeared. Our city was thrown into chaos. And when the cat came again, it was to conquer us at our weakest. They're cunning. They know what you desire, and they offer it. Be careful. Lexi wanted to speak to you.
have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. We need to talk about Sam. Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped to the Ket containment field on the Archon's flagship. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. We didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Hurting me goes against Sam's design. Because AI have never acted against their designs before. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. Your concern is noted, Doctor. Of course it has. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that. Even if you don't have cells to prove it. Salarians find their place on the Nexus. Feeling all right? You were clinically dead for a few seconds. I didn't even know a Sam could do that. Our Sam's special. Ah, your father's modifications. Worked out well, didn't they? Anyway, thank you, Sam, for saving Ryder's life. You're welcome, Dr. Anwar. I should get back to things. Sounds good.
Entering atmosphere. LZ in sight. fresh from the Nexus, and a few from my secret partners. Plan to build the first Angara Nexus trading company. Lone Star Enterprises. <laughs> Gotta remember where I started, you know. Hey, you want to be an early investor? What do I get for investing? Today, great supplies. Tomorrow, who knows?
Jal! Jal! <laughs> Wait. Is that bad news? No, <laughs> no. The Pathfinder is interested in where I grew up. Ryder, this is my true mother, Sahuna Amadarao. Hello. Jal's told me how much he admires you. Really? He's my favorite. Smart, loyal, kind. A great shot. Writes poetry, songs. <clears throat> Mother. <clears throat> I'm late for a resistance meeting. Stay clear. Your mother's in the resistance? <laughs> yes. And every child is her favorite. Everyone, this is Scott. Hi. Look who the car can drag me. Welcome back. This is where I spent most of my days growing up. Me, my sister, Kwana, our cousin, Etta, and brother, Finn. Then, Bavezil, Rolu. So wonderful to hey, have you back. Hey, human. Jal, you bring in someone special to meet us. Wow. Cozy. We like to live like this. Gonna give your friends some real food? Good to see you. And here's my room. My... Tiny sanctuary. We have a saying that I like. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> I like that. Oh, no. Who put this here? Schematics? Of... When I was seven, my aunt stole a cat weapon for me. So I took it apart to learn. And that is, was, a carkin. Pet carkin. <laughs> Alfit. He died. So I also took him apart. To learn? Why not? I never show people these things, but I feel like we're family. It's been good getting to know you. Hey, there's one more thing you might like. Sit there. Been interesting so far. Nice. You made that? Long ago. It's not accurate. More of a dream, really. Just one more thing I want to take apart and figure out. Me too, Jal. Me too.
King of Arl. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. Vetra was looking for you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. Anything I can do for my team, Liam. Stuff like that goes above and beyond Pathfinder. At least I hope so. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship, like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's a day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. Morda just calmed in. Scouts are expected to arrive soon and medics are on standby. I won't forget this, Ryder. You chose Krogan first. It's been a long time since anyone's seen us as anything other than cannon fodder. I couldn't let you down. My crew is like family. Only family I've had for a long time is Kesh. Guess anything can change. We can talk more later. Sure. You realize that even if I do find it, it's gonna cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the Ket activities down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The Ket can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing Ket over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. 
You were mad at Sid for wanting non-essentials. Now you're using contacts to find a lamp? Maybe Sid had a point. The small things keep us going. Subi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future, yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand and she's holding a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp? The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Do you really want to start over? After everything you've been through? I don't know. The point is, I have the choice of changing if I wanted to. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. It's nice seeing you like this. I know. I like being able to let go and do something for myself for once. Let's hope this is just the start, huh? Digest it without heavy processing. Cellulolysis would be hugely inefficient. Are you still trying to figure out how to eat Helios flora? Oh, shoot. I was talking out loud again, wasn't I? and Prodromos. Green. 
coordinating. Path is calm. Good, you're here. Yeah, so listen, she's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. She's here kickstarting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. She's gonna talk your ear off about your civic duty as a man. That is what she's here to do. The woman takes her job seriously. Hey, if you're cool with it. I mean, makes no never mind to me. No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. Am I interrupting something? Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder, pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. Sure, go ahead. What the hell did you do to him? It's like he's an adult or something. He can even have a mature conversation without it degrading into pot shots. Unless I take it there. What's your secret? I have nothing to do with it. It's all him. I call bullshit on that. It's definitely your influence. Something. Maybe all these years you thought you knew me, you were sadly mistaken. You wish. Okay, you're both off the hook. So glad I got to meet you, Ryder. Likewise. Difficult start. It's admirable you kept trying. Heads up, looks like a cat construct. We lost a lot of world to this scourge. Seeing one more or less reclaimed is strange.
the place. Ready? So where's your mystery project? Not far. Soil converter. No remnant terraformer, but it makes sandy dirt into something useful. Eventually. Add seeds, some rain, and you've got a garden. That's right. You wanted a garden of your own. It'll take years. I might not even see it. But that's okay. Asari think in centuries. Lay a foundation, then step away. Let it grow into something you might never expect. Pathfinder training was my foundation. Gave me a whole galaxy of directions I could go. I don't need someone else's plan. Just... A good beginning. The first seeds of a garden. One I started with my friend. What seeds do you have? Desert flowers and grasses from across the Milky Way. Colors we don't even have names for. When they've prepared the ground. Roses, someday. Ready? One, two.
ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. All systems green. Pathfinder, you have new email. after a Batarian pioneer, their first astronaut. It's good to remember these things. Anomaly detected. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Got a reading from the asteroid belt. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. We've got a crater.
We're on course. Are we friends, Cora? I think so. I hope so. Hmm. But you never talk to me the way you do to Truck. And you're good friends with him. Don't let him hear that. I'll never live it down. Hmm. Uh, shouldn't he know how you feel? Hmm. I'm <laughs> misunderstanding something. We're friends, John. And Drax an ass. The good kind. Look out, that junk ahead will attract scavengers. Smoke in the distance. Probably the crashed ship we're looking for. Cat killing other cat? I have never seen this before.
got them all. This. It appears to be a CAD data log pathfinder. It may contain saved data of some variety. Can we access this data, Sam? The device is locked. Anything you can do to bypass the lock? This is beyond my current capabilities. We have never encountered a CAD device with security like this before. I suggest we bring it back to the Tempest for further analysis. Suvi might be able to figure it out. <laughs> All systems green. It's almost unbelievable that some of the cat would be fighting their own. The cat always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. There's so much we still don't know about how their society functions. 
the stuff you've brought in is helping shed some light on those questions. Speaking of which, this device you found at that destroyed kit ship, it's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. So you're saying I have to track down some Ket? But that would be impossible, Ryder. Remember those Ket genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. You have AVP Outstanding Pathfinder. Still thinking about the Turian Ark, Mason and Avidus. I hope Avidus is doing all right. Time heals all wounds, as they say. Heals the wound, doesn't erase it. You don't lose someone like that without scarring. So why weren't you on the Turian Ark? Our dad left Palavin with us long before the Ark even existed. I don't know if we really count as members of Turian society anymore. But who needs all those rules anyway, right? You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Suvi, 
That woman on the Nexus, she's a widow of one of my pilots. The people you were training to explore the Scourge? Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow's got enough credits. It's the least I can do. The most is conquering the Scourge once and for all. Drax's theories. A real Turian aeronaut. The first across the ocean in a balloon. On Paladin? Brave soul. There aren't many soft places to land. I'm picking up something. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. I found something. remote systems in the cluster. We're on the brink. Exciting, isn't it? Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit.
from the site of this cluster is so different. M maybe the Scourge is absorbing certain wavelengths. Does it ever give anything back? Anomaly on sensors. up something. Picking up something. Probes launched. Getting a scan. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Detecting what's left of a ship.
with Tinkadara. Hands off, those are mine. Be careful, Ryder. You help Sloanekeeper grip on Kadara, but that doesn't mean she owes you anything. Oh, I'm definitely keeping an eye on Kadara politics. I'm not going to be used, or blindsided. Good to hear. Anything you need, just holler. 